What's good, Gray Gang? We're here at this pond. This pond, you know, it's got some good catfishing in here. So yeah, that's what we're gonna try to do. I got my pole over there. We're gonna try to do some catfish. I ain't catfished in a long time, but y'all wanted to see catfishing, and I wanted to go catfishing. So here we are today. I got my signature series hat on and the Bucky shirt. Today at school was actually career day. For my career, I wanted to be a YouTuber. Not a very realistic goal, but guys, you gotta you gotta dream big. You just gotta dream big. But we're actually gonna be using bread, and we're gonna be fishing with it weightless. Doesn't make much sense for catfishing. But I'll just tell you, I feel pretty good about this here we go putting on the chest cam now here offer this i just got a little weightless hook like i said got me a good little piece of bread i'm simply gonna hook this right here and then toss it right out there and well yeah hopefully big catfish will come up i do feed these catfish not necessarily often probably like literally like two times a month but they are trained and well some would call it cheating i call it fun i don't even know if it's possible to cheat to have fun as long as you're having fun hey man go for it do whatever it takes bluegill's nibbling at it that means a catfish is already looking at it and he's ready to come up any moment now oh there he is my bait it's like right over there so yeah they're nibbling at it i'm just waiting for the big catfish to come up and swallow it in one bite we're starting to get some big bluegill in this pond this pond was actually you know well dead there for quite a long time and it may be making a comeback right under my nose there he is he got it oh yep oh it came off bro i didn't even hook him. i didn't hook him good enough he came off that's okay we'll just get us another piece of bread right here do the same exact thing try to get him this time though i'm gonna give him a little bit more time to eat it too and then after i get done fishing i'm actually gonna take y'all back home and i'm gonna show you my fur collection because it is about to rain right here set my drag right here because you know one could take off with it at any moment another really fun way to come out here if you're just trying to have fun is you can chum the water like with this bread I'm throwing it out there and letting a few catfish, you know, take nibbles at it. That way they'll be super comfortable to go after the piece of bread with my hook in it. It's really good, you know, I mean, it's it's just fun. And the catfish are fine with it because, you know, they eat a few pieces before they end up getting hooked anyhow. Okay, here we go. Any second now. Any second now. The catfish is getting close to my bread. Ooh, that's a big bluegill right there. Bro, I didn't know it. I just think I caught a giant bluegill. Are you stinking kidding me? I'm out here trying to catch a catfish and I catch a giant it's green sunfish I've ever saw in my life. Like guys, there right there, that's a magnum green sunfish. But the catfish are still in there. I'm gonna throw him back real quick. Get me another piece of bread out there in the water and try to get me a catfish. Here we go. Now we're just gonna sit, wait. After he eats it, I'm gonna give him a few seconds before I set the hook. Because on the very first piece of bread I had out there, I think I set the hook too fast and I didn't get a good hook up. Oh, 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 oh. He's right under it. Bro, he came up and looked at it. And I think he may be coming around right here to get it a second time. And just to let y'all know how crazy this feeding frenzy is, right out there is my piece of bread. Mine's the one farthest out. I'm just going to keep the camera right here until, well, at least I hook up with one. But yeah, they're all over it. That catfish just took the last piece of bread that's not got a hook on it. He may be coming back up for mine any second now. If we can get this on camera, it's going to be crazy. If I get this catfish eating this bread on camera, I got to get at least like 500,000 likes, guys. I have to. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he's getting it. He's got it. He's got it. He got it. He got it. He got it. He got it. Did he take it? No way! He got it without getting the hook. That thing, he's a stinking genie, boy. This catfish may be smarter than I originally thought, but I'm not giving up on him, and I will catch this sucker. It may take 20 minutes, but I will catch him. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. He got it. He got it. You're kidding me. How does it happen eight times today? That's literally like the eighth time. Okay, there you go. Fine. No, you're kidding me. How does that happen? How does that happen? Okay, he's got it that time. Got him yes okay finally i was whenever i said even if it takes me 20 minutes i was joking but it actually turned out to take like 40 and he's fighting too oh my goodness oh my goodness he is mad and he is big and he's full of energy just because i just gave him like two loaves of bread right there i don't know if y'all can hear this but if you could what it is is the line cutting through the water it's the oh my dude oh my gosh this is a brute this is a brute this is a brute right here this is a good one too can y'all hear that? Listen. You hear that? Here we go. I'm going to try to get him up here now. Watch him come off right here. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Here we go. I'm going to bring him over here. And then I'm just going to flip him up here on the bank. Here we go. Flip him. Oh. Oh, he cool. He made it. I'm going to name him Frankfurt. Wow. That's a chunker. Just right here in the corner of the... Wow. Fell right out. He's thick. He's strong. He's fat. Just an all-around good-sized little fun to catch catfish. It only took 45 minutes to catch Frankfurt, but we did catch Frankfurt. Just like I said it was. Toss Frankfurt back in. There we go. Now I'm going to take y'all home and show you my fur collection. Because let me tell you, I've had a whole lot of requests for it. Okay, guys. So I was just getting ready to get into my fur tour that everybody's been wanting to see. And then I realized... 
I messed up. And let me show you about what I messed up on. So here's the furs I was going to show you, right? So right there, I got a little possum on top of a bobcat, and here's a fox. Well, whenever I picked them up from where they were, there's a bunch of bugs fell out, and half of them were alive. So I may have, you know, something's, uh... As you can see right there, I've got live bugs eating my fur as I know it. This is a whole lot worse than I thought it was, so I'm gonna be careful that way, you know, I don't get bit or something like that. And oh yeah, these bugs have done a number on it. Now if you don't know much about fur, this may not mean much to you, but basically what this is, is this a tan stuff? That's fur. Everything else, those are holes. There, right there, that's a big hole right through the fur where bugs have eaten it. Now that right there, that's 100% my fault. I wasn't necessarily taking care of the furs. Well, I mean, I was taking care of them as much as I knew how. Back whenever I done this fox, I didn't tan the furs or anything. I just fleshed them out, rolled them up, and put them in the corner of my base, Which is not necessarily the best way to keep your furs. Now this is a beautiful red fox. I'm going to turn it over here for you. On the back side, it actually still looks fairly decent. But, well, yeah, there's a bug right there. And there's actually holes. Like, there, there, that's actually a hole. You just can't see it from here. But, yeah, a few videos ago, I done a bow time story time where I talked about the first time I caught a fox in the snare. That's him right there. That's a pretty old skin. And, you know, he's still pretty. Still pretty as ever. Now, let's move over here to the possum. Now, believe it or not, this possum is actually the best fur I have personally ever done in my life. And I am very proud of now, it. Now, I'm not necessarily proud of it because, well, it's a possum. But, I'm proud of it. Oh my gosh, guys. There's more bugs and they're alive too. But I am proud of it because, well, as good of a job I've done on it. i done a perfect case skin. There's his legs. There's his legs. There's his tail. It's perfect. You can sit here. Hear that? Whenever it has that scratching sound, you know that you fleshed it right and dried it right. The only problem, well, the bugs ate it. There's not much I can do about that anymore. All I do remember is that that's just a possum and I've done a really good job on him. I've done the face perfectly and everything, but as you can see there, well, Bugs have ate it up very bad, too. And for you guys that are wondering, that is not the possum that bit me. That's just a random possum I caught in the middle of winter. Now over here to one of my favorite and most memorable. It is my first bobcat. And, well, well, yeah, there he is. I also talked about this cat in one of my story times. And, well, the bugs haven't eaten him up as bad as they did the fox and the possum. Now, on this guy, I've done a fairly decent job, you know. I've done the legs out good. The face, you know, I mean, hey, I could have done a little bit better on the face. But as for the front legs and, well, everything else, I've done pretty good. And remember? whenever I talked about whenever I shot it with a 22 Magnum. There's the hole. That right there is not from bugs. That's straight up from a hollow point 22 Magnum. Not a good shell for fur trap, but I can tell you that. Just a little bit about bobcats. I don't know if y'all know this about, but a top dollar bobcat, and I mean like top dollar, they can go upwards of $3,000. Now this is by no means a top dollar cat. This is actually one of the lower dollar ones, and well, out of this fur, if I had done it right and there's not a big hole right here, I could probably get a good 300 out of it, because it is a good Kentucky cat. Now the reason Kentucky cats aren't worth as much as well, a Utah cat or maybe a Nevada or out west cat, is because well, their fur right here, they call that dirty. How it's not like a pure white. How it's like, I don't know, like there, right there. How it's not pure white. And they also don't like them as much because, well, the dots aren't purely defined. I'm going to pop up a good picture right here of a good out west cat. And, well, look at the spots. Look at the coloring. Look at how much white dots you have compared to this one on that one. That one's worth a whole lot more than this one. But, you know, to me, that one's that one's a really nice cat because I remember catching him. I got the story. Unfortunately, it was pre-YouTube, but I still had a super good time doing it. Next, I'm actually going to go through some furs that y'all sent in. But before that, I just want to tell you guys how important you are to this channel. Like, you may not believe it, but your feedback is super important. And this channel feeds off your feedback, if that makes sense. What I mean by that is that a few weeks ago... Everybody wanted some signature series hats. And I got y'all signature series hat. Kid okay, one the cops I shot. But not just that. A few videos ago, you also wanted to see a fur tour. Which I'm doing today. And to keep adding on to that, everybody wanted to see catfishing because I've not done it in a while. And I went catfishing at the beginning of this video. I just want y'all to know that if you feel like left out on this channel, don't feel that way. This channel is made up of you by you. I've said this a few times, but I'm here for you and you're here for me. So if you're ever thinking of something and want me to know about it, just leave it down in the comments because that's how the hats, the fur tour, and the catfishing, that's all how they came about. So now I'm going to get into the box of furs y'all sent in and I'm going to go through those. First thing, I'm going to mention this little rabbit, which is in like every mail time video ever. It's this rabbit fur right here. Now this right here, this is just a rabbit. And it's actually, you know, that's quite a bit of space for just one rabbit. That's the softest thing I've ever felt in my life. And if you've watched a lot of mail times, you'll see it right there. A lot of times I'll have my laptop on it or laying my boxes on it or my 
my letters or my baits or whatever I get. This right here is like a little carpet for my hands. Like that. Now, whenever one of you guys send in some animal products or like pieces of animals, I usually put them in this box just because, you know, you never know when those things are going to come alive. So you got to have them in a box. But anyways, here we go. I'm opening the box of all the animal products I've ever been sent. First thing you're going to see is a whole lot of squirrel tails. And then you see the snake skin, which is really scary. Oh, and then here you go. You got the classic, the live squirrel, as I thought. Here I got some really nice case skins of squirrels in there. I got a whole lot of squirrel tails. And you know, Lucky, she will never run out of squirrel tails. I can tell you that. And then right over here is a good one. It's actually, I remember this. This is actually a muskrat. Now, I've never caught a muskrat, and I've never really, you know, well, tried to trap a muskrat. I may try to catch muskrat this year, you know, just to branch out my trapping career. But here's a nice little muskrat. I really appreciated this, because I'd never seen anything like it, and I've never trapped one of these. So that there is really cool just to see what a muskrat feels like and about the size of a muskrat. But yeah, that's really cool right there. I also got this little skull in here, which uh, I really don't know what this skull is of, and half the time I don't want to know what this skull is of because, well, because you never know, boys. You never know about that kind of stuff. And here's a big coontail. I really don't get many coontails. I mostly get squirrels, but hey, coontails? I don't get many of them, but they're still just as awesome. And that's going to wrap up my animal parts box from all my fans. I'm almost 100% sure that has never came out of another YouTuber's mouth. The animal parts box that you sent in. What kind of fan base is that? That's the best fan base ever. That's what it is. But anyways, guys, I just want to remind you, if you'd want an SS hat or a Bucky Edition t-shirt, head on over to onecom slash shop and represent the gray gang as much as you want if you're not part of the gray gang go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left as always favorite squad post it up down low if you want some of this sweet merch head on over to kennelgray1.com or the link in the description but besides that i'll catch you later in tomorrow's video